Changed the name of the company. I changed the balance to Sterling and transferred the whole lot to the TME Bank in Luxembourg. The 28 million was gone. <laughs> No regulator would ever be able to trace it. Oh, Mel, I'm so sorry. I, I loved you. I know, I know, sometimes it didn't... It didn't look like it, but I always did. Um, I, I, I did this for us. I don't want any of this to happen. I'm so sorry. I'm... Uh, uh. infamous website where the public can vote corrupt business leaders and politicians onto a ranked scale of nastiness. Hey, it's me. Have you just heard the radio? Everyone's talking about the list. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Peter. He just doesn't stop talking. But you know what he's like. You give him one drink and he goes off on his war stories. Yeah, I think we could do something for him. A small series of ads. Look, I'll be with you as quick as I can. doing up at this time? I insisted. 
Peter. <laughs> I'm not a clue what he's thinking buying that place. I mean, it's just a couple of caravans in the middle of a wood. Yeah. No one's even going to be able to find it. Maybe we could uh, pay him a visit. What do you think? That was about tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course I am. Don't be. It's your big day. Yeah. I am proud of you. You know that, right? We weren't so convinced in the beginning, were you? Can you blame me? The list is set to win top prize at tomorrow's Transparency Day Awards. The list is a website where users submit their votes to compile a top 100 of corrupt leaders in business and politics. The list has experienced unprecedented public support. In other news, Jeff Marler, the shamed politician, has made his first public appearance since the Patton inquiry. It's all about setting the course for our country and focusing on the future. So all I can say is, to me, every topping out is a day of joy. And I won't let some cheap scribbles on the internet spoil it. Even if I created the perfect world, the likes of them would still find something to complain about. <laughs> well, bring them on, I say. I'll put them to work. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to welcome this year's Transparency Day Award winner, Christopher Corbyn. In business, they call it traditional relationships. But to you and I, we're talking simple corruption, manipulated bids. Opinions for sale, astronomical compensation, jurisdiction turned into absurdity by directives and agreements, business, politics, everything interlinked. Anybody with money and influence will never be prosecuted, not in this world of traditional relationships. Our country has become little more than a self-service counter for a privileged few. Brilliant. Oh, thanks. You're an inspiration to everybody. Wow. I'm just trying to make a difference. How do you stop people voting more than once? We use an international database of IP addresses. One vote per user for someone on the list or to add someone new. See, that's how the rankings built up. Simple, completely democratic, untainted by elections, political parties or economic interests. See, it works as a deterrent. And because no one wants to be the one up there being spat at, so to speak, it might even make those gentlemen better their ways. Excuse me. You were really good in there. That's great. That's not good. You're really starting to make a difference. Thank you. You're like Mr. Public Speaker. <laughs> Us, we are discussing the list, a website where the public can rate corrupt business leaders and politicians. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's get back to our panel. And if I may start with you, Andrew, do you think the list poses more problems than it can actually hope to solve? Well, I think in all honesty, John, that's a tricky one to answer. The list, in essence, is pure democracy. Sorry, and sorry, Andrew, naming and shaming is not democracy. It's tantamount to introducing a lynch mob mentality. What about our own existing justice system? I completely disagree. Exposing corruption should be a priority for the people. We, the 99%, have a right to know what's happening with our money. Chris! Portal, are you 
two. Manager of GI Data, Richard Van Buren, confessed to having concealed incidents of bribing political decision makers. Late last month, the High Court acquitted Van Meeren of the same charges. At this time, a body has not been discovered. YouTube removed the clip from its site immediately. Downloaded copies are already being exchanged on the web. to believe that it is essential for someone to stand up for the silent majority in this country. For those who never speak, never stand up, never even have the chance to speak, the list is for them. For society to readdress the balance. And if, I mean, if one crazed individual has taken its content as an instruction to murder. That's no reason to stop. I would like to express my deepest sympathy for the relatives of Richard Van Meeren. I deeply condemn this act. Violence is, is never the answer. Chief Inspector Troughton. Who the hell are you? Special operations? Smith? And Brown? Am I right? But people should not be prevented. Turn that off. Their grievances. Yes, Mr. Bowler. Sergey, give me a rundown of all the names on the list. Sarah, you're not supposed to be on sick leave. I saw the news, so it... Oh, hi, Reg. I know the med got their eye on the list. How come I'm here because I'm concerned, because I'm your friend? Don't ask questions. Thanks, Reg. Shut it down, Chris. No, shut it down. How do you know this has got anything to do with the list? We don't. But the public do. We've just won an award. And we're just beginning to make a difference. Yeah. You sure this isn't about something else? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, come on, Chris. I've known you and your brother since you were in navvies. It's not that I don't see your point of view. But the list is in danger of being too successful. You're aiming at some very powerful men. Yes. Yeah. One politician, three bankers, two industry big shots, 
A property developer, a meat manufacturer, one dictator. They'll fight back. They already have. That's it for now. We're finished. Talk some sense into him. Chris, what? All right, what all right. The not here, not here. Well, come on, let's get some lunch. Why did you tell him, not me? You have to shut the list down. No. Why not? Look, I've not come this far to shut it down. It's just starting to have an effect. Is this the effect that you wanted? You're going to get your skull split open. I'm not turning my back on it. Look, Alison, we've experienced this ourselves, Chris. haven't we? At Dr. Vickery's drug trials. Hmm? He had the best lawyers, the best connections. What chance did we have? Huh? This is all about your brother. You saw how he died. Would you wish that on anyone else, huh? All because Vickery was trying to push a drug to market, one that had killed half the animals he was tested on. Why? Money. CEOs, politicians, Vickery, some of them, all they care about is money. Money and power. And they need to know they can't go on like that. It's not just about Jonathan. It's about the justice of it. My card was declined today. I called the bank and they said they're going to reevaluate our account. The mortgage. Hey, just trying to intimidate us. Just trying to scare us. Good afternoon, Corwin Partners. Yeah, of course we understand. Artins have cancelled their billboard campaign. So have Brooks. Hello? Reg is on the line. Will you shut that damn thing down now? Chris? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna shut it down. I'm not gonna make an exception for myself. Look, the public will realize what this is about, and then I'll be off the list just as quickly. You're a fucking idiot. Thanks.
not going to be able to keep this away from you for much longer. If I were you, I'd go with the family to somewhere where no one can find you. Easy said than done. But even I can't find you. All right. If only you make sure none of these follow us. Take these. The dam gets in this time of year. Thanks for all this, Peter. Anytime. Hey, here you are. More blankets. And this exciting staying with your uncle Peter. Then we wouldn't be running from journalists. Our house wouldn't be on the line. Your business wouldn't be going bust. It's not going bust. But they're not going to stop until they've taken everything. And they tried to run you off the road, and I'm scared for you. I'm scared for us. Look, just give me one last chance to make it right. It is finished. We get that into your head. You can't save this. At least let me try. If this doesn't work out this time, I swear to you, I'll shut it down. I've got to drive back. I want to be in the office early. Tonight? Well, nobody else can access the server. It has to be me. Well, Pete, does that work? Been a long time. Chances are it'll blow up in your face. Chris. I've upset some powerful men in my life, too. Just in case. I'll look after things here.
friend of ours doesn't like your list. I have nothing to do with the comic. Let me say this again. We're telling you, you need to shut the list down. Get in the car, a storm's coming. I'm not going to harm you. I admire you. The list has really hit a nerve. I've been looking after you. What about him? You killed him. No one would shed any tears over the likes of him. So, what do, what do we do now? You know what's wrong with the list? It has no consequences. Consequences. The only way to improve human beings is with fear. Anyone who tells you differently is just naive. The list will only work by fear. Whoever's at number one dies every time. No exceptions. That will make people think. You can't build a world on fear. The whole of evolution is nothing but eat and be eaten. Well, that's not the way I see it. I'm not killing anybody. Not even the doctor responsible for the death of your brother. Have you ever watched a flock of birds or a school of fish? Such harmony of movement. Thousands of animals moving as one. Perfection. The sum of all individual beings forms a new entity. We're not fish. Yes, we are. From a higher point of view, we are fish. Only that sick animals aren't sorted out anymore. Death is a taboo. Well, I'm on my own list now, thanks to your consequences. The people will understand what's happening and you'll soon be off it again. Yeah, and what happens if I get to number one, huh? Will you kill me too? You're iconic. That would never happen. Thank you.
Breaking news this morning. Jeff Bowler, government minister, has been missing since he left his home at 8 p.m. last night. He is currently number one on this recording's website. Everyone. I know you've all worked very hard for this, um, but I've had a change of mind. We're taking the list off the net. Thanks. For everything. So you can come back to the house with the kids in the next couple of days. Happy now? Shut down once and for all. Yeah. Yes, it was Boulder's kidnapping. And something else. I'll tell you later. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just... I'm just sick that they've won again. Yes, they have. Chris? What are you? It's not ours. Someone's copied it and it's moving around. Look, on a different server again. Somewhere else again. Like a virus. Never be deleted. Exactly. Chris. I'm now 46. Yes. You have to get some sleep. How are you going to hold down your lecture tomorrow? Mom, you know I haven't held any lectures for a long time. The doctor said you should take it easy. I'm already done, Mother. Come on, I'll put you to bed now.
Signal to number one. What do you want me to confess to? I meant well. That I want a better future. For my daughters, for my family, for everyone. For everyone. What about all the others on the list ahead of me? What about them, huh? They're the ones who deserve this, not me. Send! We both want the same things. You said it yourself. All right, I admit it. I don't object to a bit of pressure. Why not? That's also a lot of them too fucking right. What about your consequences? Hmm? Fucking consequences. What are they? Why me? I didn't do anything. Executed tonight in the same way. Again, there is no trace of the body. Like Van Meeren before him, Bowler was the number one on the macabre online list. Relatives of the victims have expressed utter shock that the agency has failed to... up your benefits. Is there anything I can get you? I could make you something to eat later. Yes, we'll have cauliflower. It's nice and soft. I'll be back in the afternoon, maybe earlier. If you'd gone to the police station, you'd have been arrested. On the pretext that you might just disappear. These guys are special operations. They're not here to solve a murder case. They're here to take you apart. You. Only you. Don't even make any effort to disguise that. So, 
This is out of my hands now. I can't do anything for you. I'm just someone who follows orders. Shouldn't really be here. Your phone number? Untraceable SIM card. He's probably taken it out of the phone. And only get a signal if he uses it. So, nothing then? No. To be honest, I'm not even sure that you're innocent. Even more so because I know what happened to Jonathan. This has nothing to do with it. I already feel that you're guilty. If you don't turn up, which you won't, there'll be a warrant out for you tomorrow and the police will be looking for you. Wow, exactly. Not fast. You know what happened to Bola? Mm. Where were you last night? I was at home. Alone? You see? Your killer is still a ghost. You're the only one who's seen him. And that also means I'm the only one who's after him. Yeah. Police are now searching for Christopher Corwin, the creator of the list. Corwin is the prime suspect in the ongoing murder investigation closely linked to the website of the list. If he can't have thought of everything, there must be a loophole. Shit, it's in the cloud. Dr. Vickery, are you afraid to find yourself so near the top of Christopher Corwin's list after what happened to his brother? All questions relating to this were definitively settled in court two years ago, finding that this tragedy could not have been avoided through the actions of myself nor any member of my team. We invested 300 million in development, and we ran a multiple of the compulsory lab tests and the preparation. Serving people is our most urgent task, and the globally leading position of our products proves that this message is both heard and appreciated. Dr. Vickery. Reg, Hello? Reg, on TV. Chris? He's got Vickery. He's a chauffeur. What? You've got to stop him. Chris, I can't talk right now. Reg. Reg. Mr. Corwin, stay right where you are. We're coming over. not hurt that man.
Come out! <laughs> 
flower plate. Yeah. Flower plate. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll use them as fairy cups. Daddy's been working all night. He's very tired. He needs a shower. They're looking for you since Vickery disappeared. Yeah. I think I did it. Well, sooner or later, they'll come here. Can't we... Can't we just go away somewhere? Maybe. Please. Let's talk about this later, all right? It's all right. I have to make myself number one, so I can catch it myself. There are government officials after me. No. Look, I'm already at number four. No. There's no alternative. I have to do this before I get arrested. It's the only way to prove I'm innocent. I don't care about who dies next. I, I don't want to lose you. The girls don't want to so lose you. So what do you want me to do? Run away? I don't care where. It Look, doesn't he will find me anywhere. You just shut it down when you have the chance. It's already too late. Mm -mm. Not first. It wasn't too late then. But your dead brother was more oh, important than please. us. Look, oh, Chris, listen. he's don't. dead. Chris, he's gone. And we're don't. here, please. Don't leave, don't, don't leave us all alone. Well, because of this man, he never did shit for you. That was my brother. Oh, oh, fuck your Shut brother. Up. No. you. We love you. Just leave me alone. Do what you like. Meet him at the old mill. It's not far from here. It's been empty for years. I know a shortcut. What's it like inside the layout? It's big enough. Thanks.
worry. I'll stay with them. Thanks. You need to get some sleep. Yeah. Like so. I should arrest you right here. I'm the number one. What? I'm the number one. Last night. I rigged it. Are you crazy? Look, he's gonna be looking for me. When I put the SIM card in the phone, he's gonna know where I am. So will you. Okay, I'll get my guys to put a track on you. I'll be there.
person. Chris, where are you? No, I can't tell you. Please no, tell stop me it. I'm where not. You are. You met him twice, correct? Yeah. Well, you should have arrested him both times. Well, let's put it this way. It would have been advisable the first time, and your duty the second. So why didn't you? Can I make a call? No, not right now. No, we might call that aiding and abetting. What would you call it? The sergeant. Oh, there. Yeah. There's... Our associate is on his way now, thanks to your track. Actively impeding a suspect's arrest. A murder suspect. Now that wouldn't look good in your file at all. Kill your mate. My mate? This is just business. Who's your boss? Huh? No? You won't talk to me? You won't tell me? Who are you working for? What death? How much are they paying you? Huh? I mean, we all need to make a living somehow, don't we? So, if what you say is true, if someone is stalking Corwin now, at this very moment, then uh, clearly that has to be a copycat. Somebody's jumped on the bandwagon. Out there, there is a madman on the loose, killing one person after the other. Corwin is our suspect. Nothing changes. And imagine if we arrested that poor copycat now. Everything would be pinned on him. All the murders that he's got nothing to do with would be his. Poor, crazy little man just because his mother didn't love him. That wouldn't be very fair, would it? And what's worse, Corwin would be completely off the hook. 
Now that would be even less fair, don't you think? everything will have been in vain. What would have been in vain? Explained it already. No. If the list is to be taken seriously, I can't make any exceptions. Well, what if you're not available? Or if he's too far away? Huh? What if you get caught? What's gonna happen then? What's gonna happen to your consequences? Huh? Someone else will do it. The list cannot be destroyed. There will always be someone, somewhere, who will do what needs to be done. I'm not important anymore. Neither are you. You told me I'd never reach number one. That was a mistake. So why did you lure me into that vicary trap? You wanted to kill him. You always did. A mistake. Can't change it now. There's nothing I can do. You kept the list going. If you'd let me shut it down when we had the chance, neither of us would be here. And we'd both be fine. Let's begin. Nothing to say to you. All of the others have something to say. Don't disappoint me now. Please. Find out I'm not protecting you anymore. How did you find me? Peter's not as tough as he pretends to be. Huh? Yes, ah. Uh. Untie me. Time.
you've ruined all of our lives. You realize that, don't you? Allison. Thanks, honey. Hop in. Forever. There's nothing for me here now. I understand. Good luck, Alison. Did you? No point in searching for a dead man. Thank you. the best for everyone. I couldn't stand by and watch anymore. Corruption. People have a right to know. I need to make it better. Alison. I love you so much. You and the girls. Lisa, Stephanie. If I could go back and start again, I. I would. Body was found, as with the other cases. Authorities assume this is the act of a confused copycat killer. 
The style and location are significantly different. So, the previous murders are still being accounted to Corwin. At their annual meeting in Davos, global business leaders agreed to adhere more closely to the general binding corporate rules. You will remember the case of Alexander Rokis, who now, two years later, chose to offer a $2.8 million compensation on his own account. A 41-year-old man was arrested after decorating his attic to replicate the room of the infamous List executions. The police followed leads after the individual sent threatening letters to the manager of the Bell Computer Company. The victim was the number one on a Japanese copy of the infamous list. The authorities assumed that the copycat killer may also be accountable for the murder in Nagoya, Japan. 